Hello everybody! Today is a special day and uh, thank you for being outside there. Um, I can almost see who's there, it's a bit far away. Hello everybody! Uh, in a few minutes when I just take my camera and then I will be closer then I can see what you're writing. And so a uh, warm hello from Germany. Today it's 6 p.m. in Germany and I'm really happy to have you here because today is a special day. As you can see, this is my new excavator. It is a Volvo, the EC480. It's made by THS Seid, the premium uh, manufacturer from Germany. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to share this moment with you together. I have not used it so far. It is my premiere and uh, so you are also part of this premiere. And uh, be sure that I will take the camera in a few seconds to bring you closer to the model. Today is the unboxing, so you will get all the details of this, as I think, beautiful machine. It is really a beauty and uh, yeah, it would be a pleasure to show you all these nice details because this is, and as you can see, I'm just starting already, this is something that is really awesome um, concerning this machine. The number of details. This is amazing and as you know as many details as possible just ensure that the thing is looking like the real thing. And when I get you closer you will understand what I mean. And so far I think without any further ado let's just start. I get you closer and when we start before we start showing you the accelerator I will show you the big box that this thing came with. It is a huge box out of aluminum, but without any words, just show it to you. Then we start directly with the excavator. So as again, as always, sorry folks for the, for the shakes. And uh, yeah, just let me show you the big box. So, I ordered it, it came with in this box. It is a box out of <coughs> aluminum. It's not difficult to see who is the manufacturer. As I said, it's the German company, the premium manufacturer Zeib THS Modellbau. And uh, in this box, you really have, okay, first of all, have fun with the new model. And uh, you have really a lot of space. So the excavator is standing in there like this, and then you have space for um, the tools, the buckets that you need. And uh, really nice, really good. There's also um, uh, a plastic uh, rubber thing here so that it really closes very well and that you can ensure that nothing will happen to your quite expensive RC excavator. So, but now let's turn to the machine and I just have to take my chair, give me a second, and uh, as always, you can ask questions as many as you like. Sorry. And now I can see what you're writing. Hello, everybody. So what I can see is uh, Christian is writing, I have the Volvo EC160E. A nice model, um, I think it's from Double E Hobby, <laughs> brand new on the market. And now I'm guiding you through this excavator. So this is the side view. And I think what you already can see here is the really huge amount of details. Um, Aaron is asking where can I get it? Uh, Aaron, please just check out THS Seibt in Germany. There you will find it. It's a German manufacturer, quite easy to find. Just Google it. THS Seibt is the name of the company. So what you see here is a huge amount of details. And um, I guess, I guess you will know in a few minutes what I mean. There is the Volvo badge, for example. And let's start maybe with the undercarriage. By the way, a few specs to the 
model. It's uh, the German scale, 1 to 14.5, um, like ScaleArt, PrimaCon, FumoTech, THL Zypt. They all build in this size. And um, the weight is 15 kilogram. Uh, so this means that it is not a heavy weight, but not a light weight. I think it's, it's the perfect uh, weight for doing serious digging. Um, the undercarriage is out of metal and all the parts are here on the top, like the cabin and all these parts are plastic. And very interesting, the boom, the boom is a mixture of metal and plastic. And uh, yeah, this is because this is a lightweight. So the power can be used, the hydraulic power can be used to lift the stones and not to lift the boom. So far, this is really cool. It's a mixture of uh, metal and plastics. And as you can see, it looks really, really cool. But let's start, let's start. Aaron is saying it is better than the Leaper 956. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I will not comment on this um, because I also like Prevacon for sure. So what I, first of all, I would like to show you is this is amazing. Can you see these tracks? These tracks are out of metal, for sure. This is, this is uh, a professional version, so it's, it's out of metal. Um, if they were plastic, this would be a toy. So it is metal. And the cool thing is that how, see how close they are. So there is no space between the tracks. This is really close, really close. And uh, Craig is asking, where do you buy the RC trucks from? Um, check out when you really mean RC trucks, check out ScaleArt. If you mean the excavator, it's THS Leibt in Germany. So, hi, awesome. <laughs> so, the tracks are really cool. They look fantastic, I think. And by the way, um, it's not a secret. <laughs> they are not painted. I like it when they're painted. You're welcome, um, Greg. I like it when they're painted, but after a few minutes uh, of working with it, you know that these paint will just disappear. The paint will disappear and so you will have no fun uh, in playing with it anymore. Uh, just looking on the, on the top, it's like this and on the side it's painted. So far, I prefer to have a non-painted version. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really a nice machine. So let's now move and maybe look underneath, see the screws. This is really well built really well built. And now let's move on to the cabin. I hope the shakes are okay for you. Um, there's a swiper and you even can see the, the heating in there or the, 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 the cooling, however you call it. And um, the driver, okay, the driver, by the way, is a Bruder uh, figure. Bruder is a German company. They are making these figures. You can get them, you can get them uh, on Amazon. And uh, sorry, I can't spell the name, but somebody's asking, where can you buy something like this? Just please check out THA Zeibt, T -A -S Zeibt in Germany. You can Google it, you will find it. It's a German premium manufacturer. So by the way, see that how the door fits in the frame. See, there's no space. This is really well built. And for sure, you can open it. Vielen Dank. Many thanks. Uh, somebody says, Rasfi says that this is a nice thing and it looks like the, the real one. This is what I, I always mean. Look in the cabin. Look at the number of details. Isn't this nice? I really love it. And you can also have a view. There's a sunroof. Not sure if this is really a sunroof. If you call it a sunroof, not sure. And there's a lamp. Uh, in the cabin. You can turn it on and off for sure. And I love this details. Yeah, it's just awesome. And another thing, when we are just moving to the back, another thing is, and, and compare it to other excavators on the market. See, always see the space, the space between the doors, okay? So, see the space, it's perfect, and this is a door and you can open it. And look how, how this space is. This looks like perfection, isn't it? Isn't this cool? So just open it. 
and then you get a better view. This is what you see here, by the way, really cool. This is um, the cooling of the hydraulic pump. And this is in the middle, in the center, you see the integrated fan. And what you see on the other side, right here, this is the motor of the hydraulic pump. So this is the, the brushless outrunner motor. This is turning and this is uh, powering the hydraulic pump. And see, look inside, look inside this door. How, look, how good does the paint look? There's nothing, there's nothing you could say. And if there's something, please let me know. There's nothing you could say this is, that, that doesn't look like the real thing. And it is so well done. This is really high handcraft ship. So, and by the way, um, now I've stopped talking. Just listen, please. By the way, they're magnets. So when you, sorry, give you a better view. When you close the door, is this cool? I do it again, just a second, and this is so cool. I love it. I love it. So this is this is the view from this side, and before we have a closer look at the boom, let's maybe go to the back. Therefore, sorry for the shakes again. Doing my very best. I don't have a steady cam yet. So. This is the top view. Uh, how much is it? Yeah, Aaron is asking how much is it? Um, it starts at around something around 9,000 euros. I know, please blame me. This is really a lot of money for such a small machine. It starts at 9,000 and it depends on what you, you like, what you need, what you want to have and extras. So the price is quite variable. So what you see here is the undercarriage on the left and the right side are, are the motors. And um, uh, TCR is asking, will there be an adjustable boom version? Don't know yet. Um, don't know if there will be uh, an adjustable boom. Uh, good question. Maybe I will ask them, the, manu the manufacturer. So what you see here is the undercarriage and right in the middle there, um, this is an extra I did not order. Um, you can uh, order it with a socket and then you could plug in a cable, in an, an electric cable, and you can power it. Um, yeah, baby excavator. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you can power it um, so you don't need the battery um, replacement. So the Volvo back. By the way, I love Volvo. Um, don't know what you like or uh, well, what you prefer. Lieber, Volvo, Komatsu, all these uh, companies, these brands. And I really like Volvo looks so good. And somebody already mentioned that this orange is nice. This is something I don't know, I think quite new. A few years ago, they introduced this orange to their machines. And again, sorry for repeating um, it. This is the real light. Um, look at the level of detail. Isn't this amazing? I really like it. I hope you also like it. So on the top, you have another door right here. By the way, just just uh, <laughs> look at this. Is this cool? Doesn't it look like a real machine? If there were not these numbers on the hose, um, you would really think that this is a real one, right? So you can you can um, open this door, and underneath you will find um, the knob where you or the switch where you can uh, turn it louder, or uh, you can just um, adjust the volume of the sound. It also comes with a with a sound module, and the big one, the big black one here, right here. This is the receiver. It is the as you can see already, maybe so it's better for you. It's um, the commander, the scale art commander receiver, the CM5000. So it is their biggest model they have. And you see how many servos and just plugins, uh, plugs were installed right here. And I think there are only two or three still um, available. So this machine really needs a lot, many plugs. 
uh, or many many um, yeah many plugs that need for the for the uh, for the running. So Dummy is saying that that um, the the hoses also um, when you have look at the real machine will have numbers on it. So this is even something that I thought you could differentiate between the real one and the model, but maybe it's the same with the real one. So let me take the light to this side so that you have a better view. So, and this is the view from the other side. So give you just give you the full perspective. Looks pretty good. And again, check out the space between these doors. This is perfect, if you ask me. It is really perfect. Aaron is saying, I order my Leaper 956. By the way, it's a really, really nice machine. The Leapers, you will have a lot of fun with it, I guess. I also owned one many years ago. Okay, the numbers are not that big. Um, okay, <laughs> on the hose. So again, um, this is a door. And maybe some of you are already asking or thinking, where is the battery? Where the hell comes the battery in this model? Yeah, it's right. The answer is right, this, is right behind this door. So again, see how nice build. See the paint, the painting. The, it, is, it is so well done. You can't see anything that is not like it should. Yeah, it is awesome, right? It is so nice. Thank you very much, beautiful excavator. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you already see that this is the cable for the battery. And it comes right there. So there's a lot of space. And what else you can see is um, in the top. Aaron is saying that I'll be ordering this one too. <laughs> this might be a good decision, Aaron. Um, you, at least you need two excavators, I think, to work with. One is just not enough. <laughs> and what you see here, here is um, there's a loudspeaker at the top of the excavator. So this is where they have put the loudspeaker and the sound um, will be heard right out of these, however you call them. So again, I, I'm quiet, just listen. <laughs> this is so nice, the magnetic door. So now let's move on to the uh, move on to the boom. Therefore, I will take the lamp to the other side. By the way, give you a view on the cabin. Um, and this, by the way, da -da -da. this is the new Piston King lamp beacon light. See, this is a this is such a flat one. And I think, what do you think? This looks amazing, huh? Really, really nice. And the orange is just, just cool. So now let's move on the boom, along the boom. And, um, but just a short second go down. Here you see the cylinders, the hoses, and again, the great level of detail. Everything is really perfect, if you ask me. This is something, it has ever been this way, I guess. THS Seib, the German manufacturer, is just doing a brilliant job in the optics. And I'm excited, I'm really excited when we start this machine. And the next stream, uh, we'll do it live together with you. We will start this machine and power the machine and then see how it is working, the movement, how it looks like. I'm really excited too. Um, yeah, the, the, the weight um, um, is 15 kilogram, so it's not a heavy weight, but also not a light weight. And see, see these hoses, look how this looks like. Yeah, Bingus, this is right. All the details just make the difference. This is what I always say, the details are so important. And see this bucket, this is a not sure two-way bucket or a three-way bucket because you can um, turn it to the left and to the right and this is really nice uh, so well built and what you see it is flat on the floor this is how it should be and let me show you from the front <clears throat> 
And Aaron is saying that he thinks he's he made a mistake with his leaper. I don't think so, Aaron. This is to have many options is always good. Tilt bucket is the right term, I think. Yes, that's right. Thank you very much. Tilt bucket is the right word. And this is what I mean. See, it's flat on the floor. So everything is well built. And the expert under you will already note, have or noticed that there is a hydraulic quick coupler in there. You can see it that this hose, sorry for my hand in the camera, this hose right here is coming from there, going underneath and then disappearing. Sorry, I must take the light. Then you have a better view. So this way, no, this way is better. So um, this is the hose um, coming right from there. I think it's coming from the side. So it's, it's coming from somewhere here. Is this coming, going around? And then this is also a detail. See these this metal cage around the hose. Fantastic, huh? And, and look at the look at the picture. Look how this looks like. Isn't this nice? So many details. So this hose, sorry, this hose is going right there. And there's the quick coupler. And the quick coupler, the hydraulic quick coupler is opening or locking this mechanism and then you can change the bucket um, without uh, doing this manual. You can do just pushing a knob and then you can lock or unlock it. But for sure, because this is a tilt bucket, you need to connect it with the hydraulic system. So this is the front view of the excavator. Just let me give you the top view. This is still missing. See how it looks like. Again, very impressive. It is, I'm sorry for, the, for repeating it all the time, but the level of detail and the handcraft chip of this model is really, really cool. There's this look at the hoses on the back. Bing was just asking if I know a place where I can make the stickers. Unfortunately, not Bingus. Um, this is something I have not added to my machines in the last uh, for uh, for the last time. I have no stickers there. I always have the original ones like this one. They are already mounted for sure. And see how this machine looks like. So this is the first impression, my friends. Uh, I wanted to give you the next step will be and therefore just let me get you back right here. Just give me a second. It only takes minutes to change something. Sorry and sorry for the shakes. Now you have the complete view again. Let me see if this is okay. Sorry, this is again not so good. But now I think you have the perfect view. Okay, this is good. And I need to see if there are still some questions. So, back again. Um, let me check. <laughs> yeah, it is, sorry, the word of this live stream today is for sure detail. And the other word or expression is the level of detail is amazing. It's just amazing. And the, I think this makes the big difference. It's so well built and I'm really looking forward to start the engine. And we will do this together. I will share it with you. So the next live stream will be starting the engine seeing how it moves, the lights, the sound, listening to the sound, see how it, it is it's running, rolling, how it works, how it looks like, and so far, I'm really excited to see it together with you. By the way, what I also wanted to show you is this is the manual, it comes with the model, and uh, it tells you, just let me get around, it tells you, let's see what it tells you, uh, gives you an introduction to the model, well made. So it tells you um, that it is uh, 25 bars, the hydraulic 
pump is working at the pressure of 25 bars. Um, um, the driving uh, is done by electric motors. It shows you how everything needs to be uh, operated. Um, fortunately, the receiver is all, already built in and gives you some hints and specs and so on. Whereas, where is everything else built in there? So, I hope. Any questions? No. I hope that you really like this short live stream today. Next live stream will be, I think so, probably next weekend, next Sunday, same time, 6 p.m. But I will let you know via my YouTube channel. I will give you a notice uh, right before and also about my Instagram channel. You can check it out. And if you miss a live stream in the past, just check out my second channel, More RC Truck Action. You will find all the live streams right there. And uh, yeah, nothing else to add from my side. Thank you very much for viewing this. Uh, live stream and please all stay safe and have a good time. Bye bye.